5 a.m. It's 24 degrees. What is it? November what? 16th, 17th? 18th. 18th? Yeah. Time to go catch some bugs. Yeah, Wall Street's not like your nine to five job. You get up early before just about anyone else, and that's kind of the way I like it because you can get more done in a day. Got to Union Wharf. Uh, been keeping our boat here for about four years. Uh, it's easy access in Portland, so we like it. We have bait right on the other side of the wharf, and fuel right two wharves over, so it's pretty easy. This part right in the eye socket, and if this other little spot right here goes past the back, it's too small. So that's too small. Started lobster and I was about six years old with my dad. I had we had five traps and Andrew's with four. Uh, I got my first commercial license when I was ten. That's the, the youngest age you're allowed to start. And uh, we used to hand haul traps in a wood boat, a uh, little 14 foot wood boat that was given to us. And started small, rowing the boat. Saved up enough money to buy a little outboard. Got 50 traps. 50 became 100. 100 eventually grew now to 750, so kind of grew fast. I met a guy named Kurt Brown, he's from Cape, uh, and I met him at career day in middle school, and that's who got me started on the apprentice program. Where you apprentice under a commercial lobsterman. He kind of took us in, and he's been our advisor ever since. 
We were uh, we worked full time for another fisherman named Sean Rideout for a year uh, in high school. And he kind of got our foot in the door even further with some more some more people and got our, got our business to grow. And we learned most most things with him. And just kind of took off after that. And I sort of followed along and enjoyed getting the paycheck. So I got hooked on it. I think I was 12 and he was 10. And we were in the little wood boat, uh, the 14 foot wood boat, and I had like 10 traps at the time. And this big diesel boat pulls up to me. It's like, oh yeah, f you, go to hell, go back to Cape, all this shit. And I was like 12, you know, so I was like, didn't really know what to think of that. And it kind of shows you that it doesn't really matter how old you are, people will give you just as hard of a time, depending on who they are, so. I like him. You just kind of have to have some thick skin in this industry, I guess. So it's got the eggs right there. Take it by the tail. Put a notch in it. We fished 750 traps this past summer. Um, usually we fish, you know, around 400 each. We build every trap we fish. We build ourselves in the past uh, six or so years. Uh, we got a shop at our house. We build them all at. We spend the whole winter time building them. Transformed a tractor garage into a trap shop. I think that the Wapsie community is a community like no other, really. Uh, when you're out on the water, the only people to help you are the boats around you. If something goes wrong, there's not really someone else that can come there quickly, so you try to make friends with everyone, get on, get on everyone's good side, really. Yeah, I mean, someone has boat problems, people will help you out. We've, had, we've let people borrow our boat, we've borrowed other people's boats gotten towed in in the middle of the night. Just pretty tight tight community around Cape too. I mean, everyone knows that everybody fishes around each other, so definitely a good thing to be a part of. Come on, let's go now. Go for a ride. Let's bring our kids, bring our wives down that road. They call life. Let's do something Uh, going to Maine Maritime makes it a lot harder to lobster. Uh, we only got the weekends now, once the fall rolls around. Uh, makes the weekends all that much better. We look forward to it all week. And we just gotta find that balance between school and work, which kinda got it figured out now. But it makes you wanna leave Cassidy and Maine a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing that you can come back to this right here. These are normal size lobster.
Gotta send them back. It's kind of hard. It's hard sometimes because in the fall the weather sucks and people that can go any day can pick the best day of weather where we're only given two days a week so if it's crappy out then we still gotta go. So that's kind of hard. Yeah, this time of year it gets to the point where you really want to you really want to keep fishing, keep hauling traps because it's what you like to do. But in a in a skiff, it's just not. It gets to the point where it's just too cold, really. Split wheelhouse boat. You can sit inside a wheelhouse on the ride out. Here we're in the wind, freezing our asses off. So that's how that goes. Fun times.